What's up everybody? This is going to be a new uh, series for my channel. It's going to be based on the show Unsolved Mysteries. Now, if you don't know what Unsolved Mysteries is, um, it was a show back in the 80s and 90s that profiled cases like um, like serial killers and like UFOs and ghosts and stuff like that. Like just these really cool stuff. Like really cool different cases and whatnot that, ha that supposedly happened back in the day. Um, it used to be hosted by a guy named Robert Stack and he was awesome you know you'd watch the show and you'd hear his voice and you'd do like the update thing and it would it would scare the crap out of some people you know he was just he was awesome and then they um unfortunately he passed away in 2002 and then a guy named uh Dennis Friera took over and when he took over you know the show just wasn't the same it had changed so much from when Stack hosted it and everything and it just it just wasn't the same as it used to be um a lot of the old episodes used to be on YouTube but then they got taken down by Cosgrove, John Cosgrove, the guy who created the show. I don't know why they do that, you know, I think, um, I think having them on YouTube was good because people still talk about the cases, you know. Um, I myself, I'm, I'm very interested in all the different cases, you know, and like, I like watching them and everything, and there's, there's been people that have tried to put the videos back up, but then they get taken back down again. Um, there was actually a guy named Nams Noodle, and he used to have a whole bunch of links to like different people who had the videos, and um, he he used to talk about di the different cases too. But yeah, like all those links got shut down and everything. So like, there's really no unsolved mysteries on YouTube. Like you really have to search the web and like really search search YouTube like very very good to actually be able to find any content because like any content that used to be on there was gone. So. Basically, that's Unsolved Mysteries. This is for people who, who love the show that, um, like me, who love the show like me, and that, you know, want to discuss the cases and talk about the cases. I know maybe it's not the same as watching the actual show, but it's just as good, and it, you know, it keeps the spirit of the show alive. So, like, the first case I want to cover is the case of Danny Castellero. Uh, it was one of my favorite cases on, of the show back in the day. So basically, Danny Castellero was an investigative reporter, and uh, he was found dead in Martinsburg, West Virginia, in, a, in his motel room. Um, he was found in the bathtub, and his wrists were slashed several times. And it was, um, the authorities ruled it a suicide. Though the thing was, is um, Castellero didn't like blood tests. He didn't, um, he was very squeamish towards blood. He didn't like blood at all, and his uh, his family believes he was murdered due to these um, circumstances that he that he hated blood. Like he he just did not like the sight of blood. So basically, um, he basically discovered like a lot of different um, he like crimes that were going on in the in the eighties. Basically, every scandal that was in the eighties, he was investigating, and he ended up. His investigating work took him to a computer software company called Inslaw, and um, he found out that their software was stolen and tampered with, and um, it was being sold to Canada by the federal, um, by the Justice Department, apparently, and it was and by the U.S. government too, and like they had no, um, Inslaw had no um, knowledge of that. And Enslaw had a contract with the government, and they ended up withholding payments for Enslaw, and Enslaw just kind of went into the ground, basically. Um, some people believe that Cat Solero was murdered by a government agency dubbed the Octopus, but that's it's really been unconfirmed. Um, So yeah, like there's a lot of people that think he was murdered, and you know, obviously like the government and cops and you know people who have investigated the case still claim that it was a suicide. Personally, I've watched this case a dozen times. I've read up about it. I do think he was murdered um, because just of the way it is and like how he was. You know, he didn't like blood or anything. So I do believe it was set up that he was murdered, and also. Um, Apparently he had bruises on him, like uh, there was a bruise on his head or something like that. And also, like during his time as an as a reporter, he was also um, 
he was also in with like um, different criminals and he was trying to get um, inf intel and information on what was happening in there and like I think you know maybe he found he just found out too much and then you know he was whacked because of it so I think that's what happened and um, you know during his funeral it um there was a uh, a military guy and like another guy which maybe looked like like an FBI guy almost or something like that and they um they placed a medal on the casket and when it was being lowered and then they just left and um, nobody knows who they were and they went they just they went to the funeral quickly placed the medal and left they didn't say anything they just they placed the medal in the casket and left and nobody nobody knows who who they were or anything so you know it just it makes it makes you think more that this has something to do with the government that the government had something involved with his death or maybe somebody else, like maybe some of these people that he was investigating, like the criminals, you know, that he was doing business with, maybe the people that they worked with found out that he was investigating them, and they whacked them, and then like the government found out, or the FBI or whatever, and that's why they placed the medal on his, um, on his casket, because of the work he had done, maybe to help put those guys away, you know, I'm not sure. Oh. But yeah, that's basically just my thoughts on that case. You know, I do think he was murdered. I don't think it was suicide. And that's basically that's basically just all I wanted to do. And just quickly talk about that case and just introduce this new series. Um, I might post another video up tonight. I'm not sure. Um, at least another Unsolved Mysteries video tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. <coughs> um, I am going to be posting a wrestling video later on tonight. Uh, talking about Dean Ambrose as the WWE Champion. I've kind of been out of the loop uh, over the past week because I was away and I didn't get a chance to watch Raw last week. But um, I've heard of Roman Reigns' suspension, and I did hear that before he was suspended, that they were. That, well, I heard that before he was suspended, WWE already knew that he failed the drug test. So I do believe that once Reigns comes back, which will probably be around the time that payback or not payback. Um, Battleground comes around that they'll be doing that triple threat shield match because obviously that's what they want to do. <coughs> so yeah, that's just a quick discussion on that. I'll probably be posting a video about that a bit later on and possibly another uh, Unsolved Mysteries video later as well. So, um, you know, people who like Unsolved Mysteries, uh, you know, or wrestling or gaming or, or uh, you know, people that want to talk about comics and like different TV shows and movies and stuff um, pretty much anybody you know uh, you know subscribe for more content like the video um, dislike it if you don't like it uh, you know that's fine with me too um, you know subscribe if you like it um, that's about all I can say for right now so uh, thanks and uh, I'll see you in the next one